all started off back in the 90s when myself and Nadine were studying in school. She caught my eye in the playground. No, me and Nadine have thought about this, so we're going to set this record straight. Terrell, I do apologise. We met in the Dark Arch in Neath. For those who don't know the Dark Arch in Neath, it's a nightclub. And for two people, well, two teenagers, we meet in a nightclub in Neath, it's not the ideal place to be. Dad, I'll leave you explain that to your mum and dad later. I remember seeing Nadine for the first time and she looked truly amazing, eh? I can remember the butterflies... Sorry, guys, but I don't expect myself to be like this. I can remember the butterflies for the first time my stomach kicking in and I plucked up the courage and walked across the dance floor. When Nadine asked, Are you Ian Goose, brother? I replied, yes. Do you fancy a kiss? So I'll leave that one as it is anyway, right? <laughs> After that, I spent the next couple of years on the 158 Buster Banway on quite the regular basis. And after a while, we went our separate ways. Went our separate ways and through different life paths. But those life paths have brought us back together, thanks to the wonders of Facebook. So, Mark Zuckerberg, the owner of Facebook, I owe you time. Thank you very much. So, it's 25 years later and I'm sat in my house, minding my own business, when I get a friend's request on Facebook and the butterflies kick straight back in again. You got it. It's the girl from the 90s, Nadine Morgan. We exchanged a few messages and I asked Nadine if she fancy meeting up for coffee for old time's sake. I suggest that we met on my next 18 days. That's about two months away for anyone to know. Nadine replied, yes, go on then. We'll meet tomorrow. No pressure. So... That was that bit. <laughs> to everybody in this place, Bear, they will know that I'm terrified of flying. I got a massive fear of flying. I can't, you know, I've, be, I've been to airports, I've walked out to airports, I've cancelled holidays, they just cannot get me on a plane. But thanks to Nadine, she has managed to get me on a plane five times. <laughs> and now I'm even suggesting where we can go next. It just goes to show what you'll do when you truly love someone. Flying isn't the only change that's happened since I met Nadine. I've gone from working, hanging out at home and hobbies, to Barbie dolls, LOLs, playing hide and seek, and I never thought I would remember the name Rebecca Zamola. And all the other YouTubers that Saren's into. But you know what? I wouldn't change it for the world. I love them both to pieces. Overall, Nadine, thank you for turning out for being a beautiful woman and the love of my life. And thank you for saying yes to me. And thank you for making me the happiest man alive. I'd like to finish off now if you could all just uh, raise a glass to uh, me and Nadine and Sarah's future.
Would the guests please be seated? Thank you. Right, okay. All right. All right. Enjoy it, all right? All right. So we have come together in the presence of God to witness the marriage of this man and this woman and to pray for them. Marriage is a gift of God to mankind. Holy Scripture compares the union of Christ with his church. It should therefore be held in honour by all mankind. It must not be entered upon lightly or thoughtlessly, but responsibly and reverently. If any of you is aware of any just impediment to this marriage, you are to declare it now. Nobody there. I require and charge you both, in the presence of God, that if either of you knows of any reason why, according to the law of the church or of this land, you may not be joined together in marriage, you now make it known. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? Give me a hand. Neil, will you have Nadine to be your wife? I will. Oh yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm very anxious, everyone. I'm very anxious. I don't want to bother to send him a nod or anything. <laughs> ah, will you buy? You can tell he's keen to marry that. I'm very keen. At least I know he's going to say yes. Right, we'll try again. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <laughs> oh, okay. Neil, will you have Lady to be your wife? <laughs> will you live with her in obedience to God's will and purpose? Will you love her, honour her, and care for her in sickness and in health? Will you be faithful to her and her alone as long as you both live? I will. <laughs> Good man. Nadine, it's your turn now, okay? When I'm ready, I'll nod. <laughs> Nadine, will you have Neil to be your husband? Will you live with him in obedience to God's will and purpose? Will you love him, honour him and care for him in sickness and in health? Will you be faithful to him and him alone as long as you both live? Turn toward each other a little bit now. Let me take Nadine's right hand in your right hand. I've asked Neil and Nadine to turn and face each other because they're going to make their central marriage vows. And they make those vows here in God's house. They make those vows before you, their family, their friends. But above anything else, they make them to each other. Which is why I've asked them to face each other to make it a more conscious affirmation of what it is they're about to say. So Neil, you say after me. I, Neil, take you, Nadine. I, Neil, take you, Nadine. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live as long as we both shall live. According to the will. According to the will. And purpose of God. And purpose of God. And to this. And to this. I give you my pledge. I give you my pledge. Right, Nadine, your turn. I, Nadine, take you, Neil. I, Nadine, take you, Neil. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. Better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. According to the will. According to the will. And purpose of God. And purpose of God. And to this. And to this. I give you my pledge. I give you my pledge. Hold it to the top of the fourth finger of her left hand and say the words after me like you did with the first vow, okay? 
receive this ring. Receive this ring. In token of my love and faithfulness. In token of my love and my faithfulness. I honour you with my body. I honour you with my body. And all my possessions I share with you. And all my possessions I share with you. I receive this ring. I receive this ring. As a sign of the love. As a sign of the love. And faithfulness between us. And faithfulness between us. Say the words after me, okay? Receive this ring. Receive this ring. In token of my love and faithfulness. In token of my love and faithfulness. I honour you with my body. I honour you with my body. And all my possessions I share with you. And all my possessions I share with you. I receive this ring. I receive this ring. As a sign of the love. As a sign of the love. And faithfulness between us. Well, there we are, Neil and Nadine are now married. They are now husband and wife. And give them a clap.
Because I like talking so much, Ted suggested I say a few words instead of him today, which I'm really happy to do so. First of all, we would like to congratulate Nadine and Neil on their marriage today. Congratulations to you both. Nadine, as usual, you look absolutely beautiful. And Neil, you don't look too bad either. <laughs> Very handsome, I must say. I was going to say, I don't think everyone knows this, but Neil has just explained some of the when you were caught in, dating years ago. But what I did right was, I don't think everyone knows this, but when Nadine and Neil were at school, they dated for a short while, then went their separate ways, only to find each other years later. You must be loved, loved. <laughs> you must be loved, loved. <laughs> Obviously, it was meant to be. <laughs> Obviously, it was meant to be. Thank you, Aidan and Co. That was absolutely brilliant. <laughs> and I must say a special thank you to Maria. Um, I asked her to join in today, but not sing, just mime. <laughs> I think the whole family will agree that she has got a terrible voice. <laughs> thank you, Maria. Thank you very much. Neil, you are very lucky to have Nadine as your wife. Not many women would put up with you talking all the time. Talk, talk, talk. He doesn't stop. Nadine said he even talks in his sleep. I try to have a conversation with him, but the minute I start to say something, he says, sorry is, sorry to interrupt, but it's not easy, believe me. But I think I have found a solution. <laughs> <laughs> Duck tape. That should do the trick. <laughs> and Nadine, you were very lucky to have Neil as your husband. Not many men would put up with your untidiness forever leaving things about the place and Neil constantly having to tidy up after you and in all fairness never complaining. Do you know every time I go into Nadine's car I feel as if I'm stepping into a recycling centre. <laughs> she really is that bad. So much so whenever cars goes out of there in the car she will always bring out along a carrier bag <laughs> so she can clear the passenger seat for her to be able to sit down. <laughs> Sorry, Neil, but she's never going to change. No, no one is. But do you really want her to change? Not at all. That's good. Nadine, me and Daddy want to wish you, Neil and Sarah, and the best of everything life has to offer. Health, wealth and happiness. We hope you have a lovely life together and plenty of holidays abroad. <laughs> well, that's enough about uh, Neil and Nadine now. Um, what about the children? Don't they look adorable? Yeah. And they've done a fantastic job today. Well done. <laughs> and as agreed, there's plenty of sweets for you later. Yes. <laughs> okay, Tell and myself would like to thank you all for coming along today to celebrate Nadine and Neil's special day. Um, hope you all have, have a fun, fab time. Enjoy. If you just follow this simple rule, which is eat, drink, dance, especially the men, and get merry. <laughs> You should all have a great time. And hopefully no hangovers in the morning. <laughs> right, I think you've heard enough about my voice now, so I'll end by saying, may I ask, may I ask you all to stand?
raise your glass and make a toast to Nadine and Neil, the bride and groom. The bride and groom. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hip hip. Congratulations to the stinkiest people in the world. This is the worst day ever because I could be playing Roblox. And I have to say, the people on the cake, the faces are disgusting. <laughs> Thank you, and you may enjoy yourself, stinky poozers. <laughs> well done, Sarah. That's all I say. Oh.